right now, this woman is homeless and in a wheelchair after a chain of events no one should have to go through. Her home on Hazelton Street, right near 96 in the Southfield Freeway, was robbed just in mid-March. And then Sunday, it caught fire, and she believes those two incidents are connected. Rod Maloney spoke to her just a short time ago. Rod, I mean, your heart just breaks for her. Yeah, Kimberly, this is so terrible in that we're witnessing the mean streets of Detroit, this pile of rubble brought on and gives us that window into the difference between defending yourself, working with police and being called a snitch. And now they're homeless after this fire that came as part of what you might call ugly street justice. My husband opened up the front door and the whole front porch was on fire. A most memorable and blood curdling 4 a.m. Father's Day wake up call for Joe and Janice Thomas. Janice claimed someone poured gasoline from the front door to the side door and then lit the place on fire. Her husband immediately slipped out a side door and ran to her aid, knowing she can't walk. Janice locked herself in the bedroom to keep the smoke away and had to try and climb out the bedroom window. The grace of God had. He made, he made a way for me to uh, stretch that window enough for my husband to pull me out. And when he pulled me out, we fell together. And we was out here, that's like Adam and Eve with no clothes on. Janice had called 911 and Detroit Fire Department arrived just about the time Joe pulled her from the burning house they'd lived in for the past five years. She claims last month someone they recognized as a neighbor broke in while they slept. DPD investigated and Janice and her husband cooperated. She believes that's what brought on the fire. It just hurt me so bad that a person like that for me did not bother nobody. They hurt me like that, me and my husband. They were trying to kill us. Now they're homeless and Janice sat outside her shell of a house today in defiance. I'm just sitting here because I want to let everybody know that people can take people for granted and, and, and take people's lives like that. You know, you just can't go and burn people out for no reason and people didn't do anything to you. Janice referenced being like Adam and Eve. They quite literally lost everything in this fire. Their neighbors and church have chipped in to get them some clothes. They're living in an undisclosed location with their children, hoping to stay safe in all of this. Back to you. Good. They have a good church family, Ron. Um, where does the investigation stand at this point? Well, we are told by both Detroit police and fire departments that there are arson investigations underway. The original break in the B&E has a warrant out for someone's arrest. We don't have a name on that yet, but the warrant has been served, or at least they're, they're trying to serve that warrant. Forgive me. Um, in the meantime, uh, the Red Cross has been in touch with the family, but clearly that's not going to be enough. Yeah, yeah, certainly heartbreaking. Okay, thanks, Rod.